hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm back again with another repair video today i'm gonna repair this mavic pro 2 remote controller which has a problem with the battery management system the problem is this one not charging from the usb and uh, it's not powering up but when we connect the usb the remote will be powering up but right after we remove the uh, usb this will goes out I'll show you the scenario. Let's plug the USB. You can see uh, it's charging, but I uh, left this uh, remote controller charging around three, five, uh, three, four hours, but uh, it never charged. It's uh, all the time it was zero percent. Uh, so. We can power it up uh, while connecting the USB. But it won't turn on when we remove the USB. I think you can understand the situation. We have a dead shot here in the battery input line it won't power it up by itself that's mean we have a problem with the battery management system uh, we'll go to the microscope and we'll see what happened with this uh, remote controller the battery management system okay we are in the power management section uh, we have two uh, controllers here this one is the power control IC and the, this one is the battery measurement IC so first I'm going to do a random check with my multimeter. As you can see we have the uh, main battery lead here. Uh, my multimeter in continuity mode. This is the, uh, you can see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 leads. Uh, three of, first three of them are uh, positive leads and the second three of them are negative leads and the other two are uh, battery balancing leads. So first this is a negative, sorry uh, this is the positive, we have short in positive which we shouldn't have here. So that's been we have short here. Let's randomly check the components. As you can see we have short in this cap. It's good good we have shot in here as well it's good those are good it's good it's good so we'll do the random check out check up on this one as well these are good, it's good, so we have some shots around this battery measurement the IZ around, so uh, I assume that we have bad controller chip here or we have some of bad uh, capacitors. First I'm going to remove this chip, then we can see uh, whether we have that short anymore. Let's get started. First we need to care about surrounding pl uh, plastic component, this, this, can, this can be melt very easily. Uh, this battery connector and these uh, IPEX connectors and the, there is a uh, switch, the mod switch. I'm going to cover them all with uh, aluminium tape as you can see I covered all of the surrounding area uh, which is easily gonna melt so let's start the removing process first add some flux
apply heat gently I remove this chip uh, let's put it away let's leave the board for a moment until it's uh, uh, cool down otherwise it will show us fails reading uh, let's check uh, the components again whether we still have the shot we had a shot in this one we still have that one we still have that shot yes good we have shot here as well okay uh, let's remove uh, both of these uh, caps and see whether they still have the shot one out let's remove this one as well let's check readings again look at that our shot is gone our shot is gone let's check the main power leads as well look at that our shot is gone this is ground anyway our shot is gone so these are the remove components remove capacitors let's check one by one we have shot in this big one let's check the small one it's a good one we are having a shot on this we have shot on this one before put them back we need to prep the pads and make sure we have good cover on these uh, connectors let's add some fresh solder Okay, with first I'm gonna put back the control chip. Press it down again. Okay, we are good to go. Let's solder the smaller one, smaller capacitor.
now let's read off the excess solder I'm going to take off a capacitor from a Donna flight controller board. I'm going to put this capacitor in here. Thing is, I don't know the exact value of this capacitor uh, since I don't have any schematic on this uh, remote controller. So I'm randomly. Uh, pick one uh, anyway this uh, capacitor used to uh, some outputs of uh, MCUs I think uh, this will be a best match for my purpose let's prep the pad Let's clean it up just to read off all the flux residue. Okay, let's do a component check again. My multimeter is at continuity mode. We don't have short anymore and we don't have short here and let's check the battery management battery uh, main lead input as well look at that we don't have any short anymore it's gone it's a drown okay we are good to go uh, now I'm gonna uh, assemble the battery and see what we are getting okay I have partially assembled the uh, display and the uh, touch panel so it's moment of truth I'm gonna power it up hell yes we have 87 percent of battery and it's powered up uh, I think it's giving some uh, stick errors okay uh, see, uh, since we don't have uh, connected our uh, throttle throttle sticks or anything uh, it's showing us an error and let's turn this off shut it down let's put the charger cable in yes it's charging so yeah battery is charging uh, it's went well uh, everything good as I expected I'm really happy to recover this thing this this is my own remote so I'm gonna wrap it up the video now this repair is really good experience for me uh, and it's a new challenge for me I believe that you guys enjoy this video you have learned something from this video if you really like this video don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and i'll come back again with another interesting repair video stay tuned for more repair videos and the flying videos stay tuned bye bye